אין. עולה. You're muted, it's okay, it's okay. Nice to see you. Somebody's raising their hand here. No, it's just, oh, there's four people. Okay, great. Yeah, I see, I see Peter. Peter, let me make you a panelist. <laughs> How about Kyle? Should we make her a panelist? I think we should, right? I think we need to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see the raise hand function. You see the hand? Oh, I see. I okay, just. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me get my camera going. Victor, look at that. They trained you, man. Here we are. Coming. Just get my camera going here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah hey Kyle. Hi guys. My uh, camera is not working for some reason. So just so you guys know. I am That's here. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We also have Peter, our new we're in your hands. I'm passing it to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> is there anyone else in the uh, attendee room, Victor? No, but I, that's going to be my primary job to keep track. If anything comes or, or you need me, I'll be I'll be right, right back with you. OK, great. Okay. Uh, let's see about Elizabeth um, Selzen, yeah. our new board member. My, my Zoom, my computer, which is very old, is not detecting a camera, so I apologize. <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. No problem at all, Kyle. Um, um, I'm expecting Elizabeth Selden too, right? And so let's wait for her a couple minutes. Yeah, right. She had an unexpected meeting come up that she couldn't change. And she, I just texted her. Oh, okay. She let me know that she was going to log in from her phone. So unless she's having a little technical issue. Yeah, we'll give her a minute. No rush. I don't think our agenda is going to take the full hour. So if people don't mind hanging tight and giving her a chance to join, that'd be good. I'm good. You guys can't see me, right? I can't see you. What are you doing? Are you causing trouble? No, I'm just like, no, no I can't get the, the video it's to okay. start. It keeps saying Zoom is unable to detect a camera. So I'm like, no, no, sorry. They gave you one of the 1990s computers, right? Yeah, out of, they gave out me of the Vomni um, IT closet. The Norm's old computer, old mayor's computer. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of these days, I'll get a new computer. I'm sure they can do better than that. Sure. I know. <laughs> No, no, you just need to ask, really. I, I, I just, uh, so it, it never detects a camera. It's a very old computer. <laughs> I mean, there's benefits in this new Zoom world, Kyle. You could just show up and say, my camera's not working. And for all we know, you're just kind of, you know, yeah, exactly. hanging out, catching up on Netflix or something. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just watching Friends over here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, let's give her... We'll start at 6.05 if that works for everybody. If she's not on by then, we can, we can get moving. Okay, usually she... No, it's all right. It's all right, Anne, things come up. I just want to give her a chance to join before we start. Yeah. It's also very early, so... Right. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, the new tendency is, like, you get on six sharp, Zoom. Like, how often did... Uh, Victor, how often do a uh, board of trustee meetings start right on time when they were in person? <laughs> Are you guys real prompts? Like... Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, well, typically... Yeah. Um, sometimes the regular session is started late. I, I'm I'm not okay with that. Uh, but sometimes in the work session, work you got work to do. You you can't you can't yeah. get get right there. I I was late the other day for a few minutes. I just couldn't get to it in time. Or you're commuting or something. Anyway. Yeah, it happens. Hey, yeah. do you have your uh, just sorry, okay. do you have your uh, kayak in the water yet? You've been out paddling. No, not really. It's so, so wind. It's so windy. So yeah, windy. Vic, I don't know if you've seen, but it is windy. Yeah, Victor's got this really amazing wooden balsa wood. What kind of wood is that? That is African wood. The beauty, yeah, it's you can pick it up with your pinky. It's so light, it's amazing. Nice. Yeah, it's Peter, just, um, just I moment. meant to ask you. Um, I have your old intern starting with me. She's going to be paid Emma. Emma um, Dempsey? Yeah. Emma Dempsey? Yeah. No way. Yeah, she's going to be paid. She starts in a week. 
Wow. Yeah. That's outstanding. Emma's but, really, she's top notch. She's top notch. Yeah. Masters in environmental science. Yeah. yeah. I was her advisor, one of her yep. advisors. Yeah. I'm excited. She's going to be my assistant. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Well, good for her. I know she's been wanting to, yeah, kind of transition into education. She had some education background before. She yeah. She has too. a little bit. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, she, I'm very, very excited. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's, because I good. knew her from when you guys had the boat outside the center. So she, yeah. She and um, I think it was Elena. I'm forgetting. Well, not Elena, the, the other guy you guys had on the boat. Oh, um, um, Gavin. Yes. He also yeah. asked for a job, but Emma had a more um oh. uh better resume and i already had enough people but i wanted emma on look the... at you look at you yeah. oh, nice pulling in pulling in the the top notch people top notch know. people yeah. well my assistants i always want to at least have a master's or a phd so she she was up there did you just say or a phd uh, oh my yeah, my, my last two, my all. last two assistants had a, their PhD. So, no way. Wow. yeah, so wow, that's awesome. Man. They're good. She, it just speaks really, to how much fun they have out down there. Yeah, she's a really cool. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she's a really nice person. So, um, yeah, no, I'm happy for her. That's great. Tell her I say hello. I will. She she always asks about you, and I'm like, well, I'll be talking yeah. to him tonight. <laughs> yeah, tell it, please. Yeah. Have you both over to our new office? We moved to um just down the road in Larchmont. I was wondering because I had seen your cart because I walked my dog up by the yeah. the sound office and I was like, yeah. I don't see Peter's car anymore. So. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was a huge upgrade for us. Um, yeah, you're welcome so to drop in, check it out. We have a brand new lab to too. It's expensive. Oh, that's just so third, it's on the Boston Post Road. Um, Larchmont down like five minutes down the road from where is it by? Can you get like yeah. it's uh, near? You know where the I don't know, you know where the IHOP is. It's really yeah, close. Yeah, to, yeah. It's, yeah, it's the it's the building right like next building down. Oh, great! I'd love to stop by. That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Well, well Elizabeth will join or not? It, it, things happen. That's I'll cool. let you know when she yeah. comes back to me. She might be driving, racing home to get yeah, there. She's I get so it. Bad. She's my neighbor, so I could see what she's doing. Oh, it sounds like you helped recruit her. Thank you. Yeah. So um, Elizabeth Selden, right? Am I getting the name right? And she might join. She she may or may not, right, for this. But just a heads up, she's our new committee member, mm -hmm. um, which is great. So that gives us a committee of three now, growing the ranks again. Um, so that's great. So looking forward to talking with her and kind of hearing what she feels she wants to contribute and, and the whole thing. That'll be outstanding. Um, we had gotten in this habit, by the way, of approving minutes, um, even though we don't technically have to like go through like the motion second voting process. But I just want to say, Ann, good job on the minutes. I didn't have any edits to them. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to take them tonight? I've already started. If yeah. You're... Oh, that'd be a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And that wasn't planned on my part. <laughs> Thank so you very you much. have to approve the minutes. No, but just you can note that no one had any changes. No changes to the yeah. minutes. And they can just kind of finalize them on the and, website. And I'll send them more timely, I promise. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, just doing it's a, a big help. Thank you very much. All right. So yeah. next up, yeah, you know, go ahead. I was just going to, I didn't mean to step out of line. There wasn't really much on the agenda, but while you were talking about a committee member, what were, can we direct this to Victor? Because we had asked the village if they could approve getting a, a teacher, a teacher from MHS. Was that ever discussed or? Oh, right. Thanks, Ann. I, I, it's on me. I, I have not cleared with, with the board because honestly, uh, you know, very contested, very complicated issues, and we don't get to simple, uh, easier stuff like this. Uh, I, I think the best way is to just approach it officially, officially, because otherwise I, I don't get to conduct business like calling my colleagues, unfortunately. I mean, it's, it has to be us together Mm -hmm. and you have to go through an agenda and it's very official and now it is always very kind of straight so so what the, do, only, what do we need the, to the do? best way is to just send like kind of an official communication then i can present it to them so uh, I, it, it's on me that i that i uh, but I, I think we can carve the exception out i i i do think I, or at least i'll push for it 
something similar to me, right? I live up in Greenwich and it says, you know, it doesn't list me specifically, but it says, you know, save the sound staff. I forget exactly how we worded it, yes. but you know, save the sound staff would be welcome to join the committee. Uh, yes. I, I so, think you can carve that or write into the, I think the way the committee, the, the center was drafted is it's not by law, but it's by, by, by uh, a policy from the board. Mm -hmm. So that I can look into on a parallel track so that, so that that is cleared so that we don't get um, uh, you know, stuck with, with the deciding what would need to be done. So I can do that in a parallel track and I will make sure that I can report to this on this back next time. If today you, you pass or, or, or have at least this decision that you as a board, when you have quorum, decide that you want to, or even, an, even if it's not an official, you know, as long as it could be a request from Peter officially, then I can run with that. And I, I want it to be your idea, not mine, uh, so that I can push it easier. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah no, it's something I think we're all, yeah, we're, we're, we're in agreement on it. And, um, you know, something along the lines of, you know, staff or something from a Maranek High School is what we were talking about, right, Anne? Yeah, I think uh, that the high school would be the easiest yeah. because if you get into the middle school or the element, like the high school is focused, it's the older, you know, older kids, they, kids who need to do internships yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Can, I butt, can I butt in really quick? Of course. Um, so I obviously have all the high school biology teachers are very close with me. Yeah. Um, so what do you, I could, I could talk to any of them. They're, they're very close with me. Right. Yeah. We need the approval first. And then of course I would come to yeah, you. Kyle, yeah. yeah. That'd be great. If you could and the, 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 the vice principal and the principal comes down every time the, the freshman biology class comes down. So yeah. I'd be happy yeah. to talk to whoever. Uh, yeah. I have ties with the high school too, but knowing that you have such a closer relationship, once we get the approval, I'll come and speak to you first. And okay. Then we'll no, I mean, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Um, Thanks. So the Thanks. approval process, Victor, will send you an email just requesting it. And then do you want us to CC like mayor and trustees at Vomney or anything like that? You're, you're, you're muted. Just yeah, to you. The answer, is, the answer is yes. Okay. Yes. So um, uh, a couple of times this has been discussed and we're just going to you know, ask. I'll you do to it. This I forward. got it. That, so that it. that way I can it'll be easier because then I, I actually just will make it a work session item because it may require uh, us to look into how the committee was 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 set up and I will ask Sally uh, to help me find that old resolutions yeah so we can work on a as throwing this out there will really make us all move I can like, email Sally etc I'll, I'll get Good. the action rolling okay great thanks and you had something else on it Oh, no, just if you, I mean, obviously, if you have anything that was, you had sent when you originally did it or any correspondence relating to your exception, yeah. maybe you have it. Just yeah, in the resolution, process. I'll attach it. Um, but I think what we need, and I'll do it today, just so it just gets done, you know, but if you put it in the minutes, Peter's going to send to Victor and the mayor and trustees at Bomby email account a request to bring in a Maranek high school teacher, regardless of residency. Okay, perfect, great. And I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll send it off today. So, right. right, cool. Yeah. All right, thank you for bringing that up. Um, the other thing that we'll cover on other, but maybe we'll do it at the end is uh, the tent talks, but going up to the top of the agenda, uh, Kyle, if you wanted to give us, if you could give us like maybe a five minute or even three, just a blip on um, how things have been going and kind of gearing up for the summer season. So just, just a general staff. Yeah. Update. Um, so <coughs> it's gearing up, which is um, exciting, but also nerve wracking. Um, <laughs> so I have the high school interns, which I think I brought up last time. So the high school interns for you guys that don't know is um, high schoolers from all around Westchester get to pick what they want to do for like a month of their time instead of going their senior year. So I have um, East Chester, Tuckahoe, gosh, Scarsdale, um, Amerineck, Rhineck. Um, I took way too many on this year, but so they start, Jaden, who is from Rhineck, started last week. Uh, and then I have, I unfortunately took on 
six other ones. Um, and these are unpaid interns. Um, these are just high school interns that they, they spend their senior year. Um, and they've done this, and I, I've, I've told you guys about this before. They spend their senior year um, in a place that they want to intern with. Um, and all of these kids are going to school for marine biology. So I have, I had over, gosh, I hate to even say it out loud. I had over 70 applicants and uh, I took seven, which I hated taking seven uh, <laughs> because, you know, it's a small space. So, um, but I have tasks for them. And then I'm doing now the uh, next month, which is gonna get crazy, which I'm excited about, but also nervous. Um, I have six or no, five schools coming down, which I'm excited. They all, um, the second and third graders, they're allowed to take field trips now. So uh, New Rochelle Columbus School is coming down again, which they did, I think, and Peter, you would know three years ago, uh, they're, they're coming down again because they weren't able to the last two years. Um, Mamaroneck Avenue School is coming down. Harrison is coming down. And um, uh, Daniel Warren. Uh, so I took four because I can only do May. And, you know, obviously when it gets into June, the kids can't come down. So I took four schools. 40 kids per day per week uh per each school is coming down per week per day um so we're doing that and then i'm deciding uh and i took on a new camp which is the um larchmont beach point club so i'll be doing that and then also this year, I'm going to be doing our own Marine Education Center camp. So we'll be doing that. And yeah, so I just set the traps today. Um, sounds like a little, but it's a lot. You know, I, I'm dealing with the seven kids. Uh, that's a job in its own. Um, <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Uh, seven's a lot. We usually take it's, a couple. Yeah, it sounds so... Um, lame but yeah seven kids no not lame at all good for you training them what to do yeah but i'm also doing the i just started next week is the the programs for each day are going to start each day so nice. training them to do all that kind of stuff um i wish i had more i wish no I that's it Kyle. no 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 no, lot, no no that's fine no, yeah no, no, that's great you're busy that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> it's just Any, uh, it's, yeah. it's 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 hard doing everything and then uh, Anne's got a question for you uh, it, I'm sorry so Liz is able to log in but she can't find the link is there any easy way someone can um let me see uh, do you have her email because I could send her the email that Sally sent me right uh yeah can it be the personal email or is it after yeah be? that's fine um, what's the email I'll, I'll put it in right now it's um Oh gosh, I'm the least technical person in the world. I can't believe this. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. So it's D as in dog, E as in ice, um, E as in Edward, P as in Paul, A as in Apple, C as in Charles, E as in Edward, L as in Larry. Hey, wait, wait, sorry. What was it? Sorry. D as in dog, E, P, is it? D E P A C E L at at, at Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have D E P A C E L. Yep. Oh, A C L. I don't know if this is the right email, actually. Sorry. Send it one more time. Say it one more time. Sorry. Um. You know, is this being televised? Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, say it is. Yeah, I shouldn't. So, uh, you want to just text it to me, Ann? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll okay. forward it now. Yeah, I just, just realized that. Just text it to me because it is televised. Yeah. Um, just text it to me and I'll put it in. I'm trying. 
Hey, Kyle. No, no, no. Take your time. I'm sorry. I, didn't mean to <laughs> I, I, I don't mean to be rushing. Okay. I don't care. No, no, no. <laughs> we are, I told her we're resending. Okay. And you should have gotten it. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I just got it. No, you just sent me her phone number. You have to send me your email address. Yeah. In the contact is her email. No. Oh, wait. Yes. You're right. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, good yeah. to get on. That's okay. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, that's what I thought under the circumstance. I appreciate everybody. And she, you'll see, she'll apologize. Um, oh, it is. It's the, I have it for some reason. Because she was talking to you, her daughter was going to have the birthday party. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Jojo. I have a lot of mm. birthday parties, so I apologize. I and I had I, this whole weekend. Everyone kept coming in. They're like, "Do you remember me?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't get me, Kyle. I have five hundred birthday parties a month. <laughs> All right, I got it. I sent it to her just now. Uh, she's just walking in, so I'm sure I'll give her one minute. She's going to okay. on the computer. Okay, so we could continue. She'll just jump on. Okay, okay, so um, thank you. Yeah, and um, we're making this is a new thing. So we're the um, and Peter would know where the old touch tank thing was the outboard, mm -hmm. and I was always unsure about it um, because the kids kept messing with the locks. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I never kept the touch tank out there, and I would love to have the touch tank mm -hmm. out there. Um, but they kept messing with the locks and I can't get enough money to get better locks. I finally got a camera inside, but anyways, they're going to make that whole area, an outdoor space, uh, an outdoor closet for me because oh, good. I have no space left. Yeah. Um, so I can get my own like, um, tables and chairs. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, outdoor, so, and anything that maybe is like partial wet storage is good to not bring inside. That's awesome. Exactly. So I'm just uh, that hopefully will be done. And I good. told Jeff not to, Jeff is the parks foreman. I told him not to like rush about it, but as long as I can get a closet out there, I'm just losing space quick. So yeah. we're going to make the area where the, the touch the touch tank spot is yeah. a um, closet and then hopefully move where the touch tank was by the outer door um, and get a better enclosure for that. Great, Kyle. That's good yeah. news. Good. So that's, uh, and then, yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs> All right, good. Not I guess. Yeah. Plenty going on. Plenty going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. That makes a ton of sense too to have an outdoor yeah. closet. So I'm glad you're getting that moving, just, outdoor storage. I'm there. losing space because obviously the boaters need their closet, and that was the big thing was um, take the boaters' closets. But I'm not trying to make any of the boaters mad. So no, no, no. it's good. It seems <laughs> like there's plenty of space to balance it out. I think you're taking yeah, the, right, we're gonna, the right approach. We're gonna make a little bit of space for myself. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Kyle. Thank yeah. you, and thanks yeah. for the update too. Yep. So, uh, Victor, if you wanted to give any, oh, Anne, go ahead. Just a quick thing, Kyle. Um, yeah. If you need help organizing, moving, I'm here comes Liz. Like, yeah, I'm comes a, Liz. I'm an excellent organizer. You know, I, I helped you before, but if you ever need a hand when you're moving and everything, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I have, um, luckily, have a seven lot interns. Of um, a lot of interns coming right. in. <laughs> they will. They hey, will, Elizabeth. That's what they do for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. perfect. Okay. But the, Among but other it, things, it, it, but I make help. them do yeah. those kind of like menial jobs. <laughs> yeah, good offer. Yeah. Uh, Liz, Liz, you go by Elizabeth or Liz? I just see Liz there. Oh, Liz is good. Yeah. Liz is good. Okay. So, right. welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you could join yeah. us. I know this was kind of a um, re quickly rescheduled from last time. Okay. And uh, welcome to the Marine Education Center. Um, we're just moving through. We didn't have a very stacked agenda. I think we're just kind of still getting our feet under us after COVID, the pandemic and such. And uh, it's great to see a new face. Um, maybe we could just quickly go around and introduce ourselves. I know you know Anne and I think you know Kyle, but um, I, I could start. My name is Peter Linderoth. I'm the, the chair of the committee and I've been on, gosh, I've been on board on this advisory committee for almost, I don't know, five or six years. Yeah. Um, since before the Marine Education Center was moved. Um, well, I shouldn't say that expanded. 
And uh, now we're kind of uh, still moving along. I work at Save the Sounds. I'm the director of our water quality program. Love Long Island Sound. It's a real pleasure to work here with Kyle and, and uh, Trustee Tafour and the rest of the village personnel. Victor, you want to introduce yourself? I think you know Anne, so maybe, we, I don't know if so you want Anne. Yeah, your neighbors, right? So let's go to Victor. I left on the screen, or oh, you probably need to, uh, it's not on the screen, but Kyle is more important than I am. But I'm anyway. sorry, I can't get my face up there. <laughs> I'll just introduce us. I'm, I'm, I'm the liaison trustee. Um, so that's my role here. Um, I've been on the board for five plus years and I'm closing down now. I need, we need new, new blood come in. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll push uh, the you know, initiatives that we have come on board and do, do our best for this rest of the season, uh, summer, fall, uh, so that we're, we're gearing up well for you know, this season and, and for the next year to come. Thanks, and Welcome Victor. and thank you. And have you met Kyle, Roy? I have not. Officially. Hi, I'm sorry, Liz. I can't get my picture to show okay. up, but hi, I'm Kyle. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm the marine biologist and director there. Um, and I love all opinions that I can get. Have you been to the Marine Center? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I can't see faces. I have a very old computer. So That's I all right. She's smiling. That. She wasn't giving you a, a funky look. <laughs> so Liz, maybe you <laughs> could let us know you why you're, um, thank you, why you're interested in joining the committee and um, maybe just some ideas on what you could potentially bring in the future. Areas of interest is what I really mean to okay, say so on where you could chime in. I'm an occupational therapist. Um, I work at a school in the Bronx and I work with elementary K through five. Mm. So I'm very interested in um, educating or, or designing things that could meet the needs of um, the way all students kind of learn. Mm. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm a big person that thinks that the environment is very important. And I think that the younger generations need to get on board with that. So I, I'm passionate about educating the younger generation and things nice. like that. Oh, you're in the right place. Yeah, I, I, and not to butt in, but I, um, that's a big thing with me is that, um, so the high school just took me on as their, they actually like put it into their curriculum to make my center um, part of their curriculum because they don't get that, that amount of like um, education in terms of the water quality and everything. So I, I'm very excited. And that's why I'm also excited all the, the elementary schools are coming down. So I, I love, um, and Queens is coming down too. So. Coming um, over, wow, coming yeah, over from Queens so up and over. And it I'm sounds very, like Liz has a good connection with the yeah, Bronx. Yeah, very cool. Very I'm very excited. Fun. I just think it's so important to get them like kind of early the high school, I'm super excited, but it's more like these second and third graders, I think is the most in, important just to get them down because I just, I find it's, it's it, extremely important to get these kids. Yeah, down. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Happen, yeah. Well, um, yeah, I agree. And Liz, welcome. Uh, we look forward to your yeah, input thank moving you for forward. coming on to the yeah. committee. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, Victor, we were just going to go down the agenda to you if you had anything administrative for us, um, any Village of Mamaroneck news we should hear about. Not really. The budget was adopted, and that helps the village in many, many ways. Uh, it'll help the, the, the center and all around, all around. So, uh, after a couple of years with, with the um, you know, concerns with, with how, you know, pandemic, the slow... Uh, other issues, grants, the government. I think yeah. now things are right there, uh, so we can we can move move ahead. Uh, there'll be, I think it's a it's a there's a bit of you know, contested issues, a bit of politics around, but I think overall uh, everything is in place to to move now, both on the marine education center and everything on the village side that deals with the environmental components. So, Oh, that's, that's good to hear. Broad statement, but I think okay. that, that sends the message. I think we should be fine, and that if we have anything to ask for, we should not not hesitate or not be shy 
Yeah. This is, this is a time to to get things rolling. Things are things are there. Many things that were really hurting the village uh, or keeping us conservative and on, on a few fronts. Uh, I mean, just just or, or worry. Uh, now 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 have been kind of cleared of how things are going to be funded, etc. So let's just move on. Yeah, the, village, the village, and I just want to say this to Victor, just so like everyone knows, the village has been very good at expending as much as they can the budget for the Marine Center. Yeah. So, That's good to hear. Sure. That's good to hear, Kyle. That's been working well. Anne's got her hand up. What's going on, Anne? Uh, two things. Victor, do you know who your successor is going to be? No, not, no, not, yet. not even close. There's and, going to be an election in November, and from that, oh, well, okay. then they'll in December they select a new a new liaison. Oh, but okay. My my, I think I think there should be far out. I think. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> yeah because, no, I don't want you to know. This is where think you know, uh, you know now now it's time to bolster all the programs. So I I I, I actually look forward to passing the baton to somebody, yeah. but. But increasing the, the membership, I think, would should be a goal for us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is the season where people pay more attention. So uh, just looking forward. So let's. I'm not thinking about a successor now. No, that's all right. And what's the other one there? And we're going to miss you, by the way. But yeah. Second question, and I think Victor is mostly about, is whatever came with George Latimer when he, because he offered us the money? Was that turned over then and followed up through with the village or...? No, in our I, last meeting, I think you remember it was, it was up to us to get back on specifics. Mm -hmm. so, right? Has anyone so, gotten back to him? I mean, he no, said he has money. We we had to, we have to we have to focus on what we want and get get it back to him. Uh, so so Peter, kind of a list. I'll turn it to you. How can we do this? Because it's been months already. Yeah, I and you know I I, I think I think uh, County Executive Latimer. Um, would be up for hearing something even after a few months, but I think um, the course. first list. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, I was uh, hoping we would move on it. It was actually kind of towards the end of the agenda. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Okay. No, you don't have to apologize because I wrote it in a way that was like next step. Okay. But um, I think what would be best if Kyle agrees is for Kyle to start the list, like maybe top three kind of ideas, Kyle, where you think some Westchester County um, funding could help the Marine Education Center, be it through grants for school buses to bring in maybe, um, you know, disadvantaged youth or whatever it may be. But Kyle, would you be up for drafting up like a few topic ideas that we could kick around the uh, I mean, I have, um, not to interrupt you. I You're have, not interrupting. Um, I have a lot of, uh, so there's been a lot of um, people who have their outside grant opportunities and mm -hmm. they've come to me and they, have wanted to do the grants with me. So I have, I think it's called, I'm misremembering. It might be the oyster reef conservation, whatever. Um, so that's who brings- the, the, the Billion Oyster Project? No, no, no. Um, these are, it's, it's like an outside group who brings underprivileged youth. Oh to the Marine Center and they came uh, three years ago before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And now the uh, New Rochelle is coming back, but they're paying for it. Right. Um, but also I'm working with the county a lot mm -hmm. to work with um, the trash removal. And I'm also working with um, the Coast Guard uh, oh, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Coast Guard. Yeah. So, they volunteer some good chunks of time. So yeah, I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is, I would, maybe, love, I would love to yeah. work with whoever you guys come up with. I would love to honestly, any ideas. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we could, maybe as an yeah. advisory committee, if you're up for it, then oh, maybe Liz gosh, I Ann and that. I could, yeah. could throw together a list of say like three ideas for some potential oh, 100%, please. funding projects yeah. from the County. Yeah. And then you could evaluate because, them and see what um, makes sense. Because the, and Peter, you probably know the, um, the big, the big uh, grants coming out. The Futures and, um, Fund. Yes, the Futures Fund. So if you have any ideas, because the grant and. Um, I think it's due Victor, in about a week and a half. Victor, you probably know, the, Victor knows 
she's not happy with my idea for the futures fund um jerry is so i'd like to get a better idea on like how to get her on board with my idea <laughs> um, are you talking about the person at national fish and wildlife foundation no no victor uh it's the the woman who does our helps with my grants um through the village so i'd like um some help kind of describing to her why it's important that we do this grant um the grant is the the um kind of like a boom in certain parts of the river uh next to the high school so one of the mm. would be towards the harrison high school one would be outside of the river so it's she doesn't think it um should go towards the futures fund and i'm like no but the high schoolers will come get it and so hmm. let me suggest that as part of peter's email on on this on this meeting uh or discussion that needs some action that you highlight this that uh, as part of kyle's report uh the issue of grant was brought up um and that would be to Jerry, uh, yeah. so that because we do pay them, we pay them a good amount monthly. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it's their job kind of to, to prioritize. It's just to either help us or tell you this one doesn't work, then find this one, but not it, it shouldn't be kind of your job to convince her unless then there's a communication, you know. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little, I honestly, Victor, and you, you know, you. I've been in the field for 18 years. So is Peter and everybody else. But like, I was a little upset. She told me no on the project. And I was like, this is a hugely, like this project is for like, it's first of all, like all the, the kids will come out and do it. And then I also have the robot. So I just, I, and and Jerry's totally on board. We hold we held a meeting three weeks ago. So I just uh, I just want people on board for this meet. I uh, I just think it's very important. Okay, I, just think I got two, two two quick thoughts. Um, yeah. one just to uh, wrap up the George Latimer piece that we were talking about. Um, Anne, Liz, and I are going to put together three bullets with some general descriptions on what we think might make sense um, for potential requests. And then um, Kyle, in respect to what Victor was just mentioning and you were talking about, do you have like a short, like short top, like kind of top level narrative of what you're talking about doing that oh, you could just send course. us? I I, well, yeah, I sent it to them as a- well, Send it to us, send yeah. it to us. And then um, we could take yeah. a quick look just so we know a little bit more of what you're talking about. And mm -hmm. I'm sure that we'd be more than happy to write something to Jerry saying we support that. And yeah. That, that grant proposal and we'd love to see you know the village get behind it if you know we'll keep it how we have to yeah the victor's uh suggestion we can write that to jerry maybe separately than the one that i'm writing you about the mamaronek high school teacher yeah. victor we'd be happy to do that Kyle. so just please make a note like if you send it this week that'd be helpful because it just keeps it nice enough up front okay. in our minds and i think the deadline for the uh long island sound futures funds is coming up relatively soon so um, they have um three updates yeah yeah. So, okay. Send, send, send it on over. And, uh, I, I'm sure we'll get behind that one, Kyle. I'll advocate with you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so for an administrative update also, I think, uh, that we could consider, I'm happy to do zoom meetings, but we have the ability to meet in person again, if we want to, I believe at the regatta. So, um, if people want to, they don't have to voice their opinion right now, but if, uh, people want to just send me their preference, people as in Ann and Liz and Kyle and I'm Victor. In. You're in in person, you want to do in person? Yeah, in person is home. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. So much better in person. Yeah, I'm happy to do in person too. Um, yeah, okay with whatever is. So. Either way is okay with yeah. you too, Liz. All right, so maybe maybe we give a go, especially with the summer one, we give a go. Um, we'll keep track of how things are going, obviously, with transmission rates, but I'm also happy to kind of get reconvene in person. I, I also kind of prefer it. Yeah. Okay. So we're, our next meeting's not until June, right? Right, right. Yeah. So we'll meet in person in June at the regatta. We can all let Sally know. What, what, when's the, um, when's the, uh, what's it called? The uh, 
percent talk. Oh, we're gonna get to that in a sec. Yeah. Well, so, okay. Sorry, so, sorry. Uh, so, okay. So we'll, we'll we agreed. We'll meet in person in June. We can get that in the notes. We'll let Sally know. Okay. Sorry. And then um, no problem. And then we've got um, we covered five. That was ide identify projects. So last um, but certainly not least is attend talks. And you want to kind of start us off on that. Well, I have to really revert back to you, Kyle, because I was waiting to hear whether or not the, the village was going to host it. So June, June came down. I don't know if she told you, June Ottinger. Right. She came down. Um, so it's not like the village can't sponsor it. Right. Host and I think that I told her, I reiterated that to her. The village can't sponsor it. But if it's a Marine Center event, I can host it. Okay. But I can't sponsor it. Right. So what needs to be done? Because the one nothing. Uh, is right. it like you have it as a Marine Center event. Okay. As the village of Mamaroneck Marine Center, Marine Education Center event. Okay. So you, I can I can hold I can have it, but and Jason's okay. right there with me, but okay. I can't host or sponsor anything so the one thing and i'll send that out quickly because i was waiting to hear about june june told june was right there with me she understood it completely right. she was like oh i totally understand now because so i can't because it's sponsoring an event as wait, a wait, yes can't. oh yes i understand completely yes. so we have june 9th approved with jason and yes we have our first speaker. all to let y'all know the only thing that i'm having trouble with is that june came down last week or the week before and she said now because um i don't officially like the the marine center the friends of the marine center she's she's saying that the money's going to go towards the the um what is it called? What do you guys do? The uh, Island Conservancy? Yeah. So that's the only problem right now is that she's saying all the money's going to go towards the harbor of the harbor. Our Island Conservancy. Yeah. Thanks. So if it's a Marine Education Center event, I mean, let's just hold it as an event, not a fundraiser, because that's not what we do unless no, I'm like so, totally so she, trotting so, on people's plans. So June is June is saying that because the friends hasn't become a oh in order I understand yeah. so, so I this think is what, the only problem and, I, 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 and if you're not giving all the money towards the the marine center then you're gonna have to get all these licenses through the the right department. what I think June well, my understanding and I'll follow right up with her is because the Harbor Island is a nonprofit. If yes. people wanted to donate, but then it she, she said to me, she center. goes, she goes, mm -hmm. she said, we want to give all the money to you, but if they want to donate it to the, the, the Marine or the Harbor <laughs> Island Conservancy, <laughs> then what okay, do I well, do? Those, and I was like, I don't know what you do. I don't So care. the logistics we could work out. I'll, I have a, a committee put together and I believe Liz is going to be also on the team. And I think Victor actually would be a better uh, um, solver so with I'll that because I, I honestly like, I, I want the money to go to the Marine Center, but course. Victor would probably be better with that because I'm guessing that pro probably most of the money is going to go towards the uh, <laughs> no don't worry those are the logistics but now that i know we can definitely move i'll follow up and yeah and i just i don't it. think this should be my a only meeting, to be main honest. question and i think for victor uh how easily that we could get a tent talk email that kyle and i have access to in order to uh bring it more to fruition very quickly for the event number one if we send out invites or number two we'll certainly post that if people have questions but who can we follow up and obtain this email i think our their village has a communications 
um, okay. person, Cliff, right? Right, Cliff? and and oh, very proactive, yeah. very very keen, and very interested in the center. Uh, okay. Uh, again, but he he uh, he works under Jerry's orders. Yeah. So that I, is. Yep. Right. Can I pull? Can I say something really quick? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um. I love this idea. I just I'm very concerned that it's more of a Harbor Island Conservancy plan than a Marine Education Center thing, which is totally fine. I'm totally okay no, with that. It's just the logistics of Marine Center being in the Harbor Island. Well, it seems to me that it's more of a Harbor Island Conservancy. I'll tell you what. Um, I after hearing us talking about this tent talk for a couple of years, I'm surprised that it took us yeah. this long to get something that actually happened. Yeah. So I think that we need to move forward on however this is going. Our, our role as advisory committee members isn't to raise funds regardless, but this is a really wonderful kind of opportunity for adult education opportunities. The Marine Education Center is certainly involved, has to be involved, um, given why we wouldn't be talking about it tonight if, if they weren't. I'd love to see us just do this, like make it happen. I think that some of the, 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 as they say, like kind of municipal tape that got in the way is, in my opinion, wasn't necessary. So it seems like Ann's put a ton of time into weaving things around and making things work. Let's make this happen, we can do it. And then it all started on the premise of just having evening kind of adult education right. kind of lectures, you know what I mean? If fundraising, if it complicates it, drop it out of it. You know what I mean? That, um, yeah, that's not the focus. But let's just make it happen. So I think the next step, Ann, it sounds like to me, is Victor's just suggested get in touch with Cliff because we also asked uh, the assistant village manager for quite a few months for that email, which also just kind of didn't happen. Right. Um, so let's just go right to Cliff. Do you have his email and Jerry's as well? Yes. Just email them both, please, and say, we talked about this. We'd like to set up an email address for RSVPs and general tent talk communications. Can I, can I add something really quick? In a second, yeah. Okay. And then from there, we make it happen. And if it's not going to happen, I think we need to stop talking about it because it really doesn't need to be as complicated as it seems to have gotten. Kyle, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to make this more complicated, but as Anne, Anne came down and I love, I love you, Anne, but it's, it is more complicated than it comes down to because like, it's not as easy as it's coming off as, um, because I'd like to know why I that have, is, because no, we've been talking about doing no, it. Exactly. I, I honestly, and me and Anne had talked about this. It's been two years and Anne mm -hmm. has come down and she's been so good. She's been amazing with planning this, but it's harder than it looks because the Harbor Island Committee, whatever it's called, has been making it their own project. So it's not the Marine Center project. That, that isn't true, Kyle. Not at yes, and we talked about this. I think you guys should take it offline, but um, I think that okay. we should include maybe someone else in the discussion and just either push it through or, or unfortunately pull the plug on it. Or but I'll pull the plug. No, I, I don't want you to pull the plug on it. No, I, I don't, don't want to come across that way. And I, just, I don't want to pull the plug on it. I think it's I, a discussion. Honestly, I think that it's doesn't... an amazing idea. I honestly think it's the amazing idea but i don't think it's a marine center project anymore i think it's uh the the harbor island committee project i i i don't know um i know it went back and forth in the logistics um it'd be great if we could get kyle to attend obviously and say a couple words definitely on the marine education center um so Correct me if I'm wrong, but we already have a speaker lined up. I believe the tent's already been worked out, right? In respect yeah. to having a tent. And if it's co-sponsored or not, I mean, it seems like something we can pull together. I, I, I get what, I appreciate what Kyle's saying too. It's not as easy as I think I'm making it sound, but a couple of years is plenty of time. So and honestly, and I love the idea and I'm not trying to, honestly, the idea is amazing. You do whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be a Marine Center thing. Just so you know, I'm not trying to like. Well, Kyle, it, it does have to be the Marine Center. That was where the, it started from. And that's the, always will be the focus around it. 
of, of, of the premise of the talks. That was what it is. And if we don't have the, in order to do it, not under the Marine Center, it's a whole different well, uh, situation. Like you said, you have to get the licensing, the insurance. Well, that's the thing. And I'm so happy. I love your idea. I'm actually like in love with your idea. But just because you're with the Marine Center doesn't mean you no, have no, to. But Kyle, that's that's the whole thing that you're missing the beat. This is comes from the Marine Center and will always be focused around it. Any of the speakers, this speaker, anything will but it's about bees. Them, and uh, affiliated with the Marine Center. That's who my first speaker is. I have a second speaker lined up that is all, all about the environment. If it was something under Harbor Island, you could have anybody come speak. That's not what this is. This was a, a speaker speaking series that was focused around the Marine Center. That's never changed, never changed once. So, um, you know, I, I'm interested in doing it under the Marine Center with the support as I have. And if we don't want to do that, then that's fine. It's not going to be another one. And I, I appreciate everything you do. So it's fine, whatever you do, but. Let's take a conversation offline. I don't think yeah. we have to have it all recorded. Yeah, and let's make a decision on it. Right now. Um, okay. And I'm happy to be in that. And we'll have Kyle and um, Ann and anyone else that would like to talk. If we need other people from the village, Kyle, please feel free to invite them. And um, <laughs> it sounds like we should um, you know, make a decision sooner than later. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll, follow, I'll follow up. You'll follow up with yeah, it? Yeah, I'll follow up. Yeah. And then we'll just move it along. I'll see Victor. I don't know if he plans to attend, but um, we can just kind of see where it falls out. Okay. Okay, great. Because we have been talking about it for some time. Uh, and that, and at 6.50, we actually did cut in almost the full hour, although we had plenty of small talk at the beginning. Um, unless there's other business people wanted to talk about. Um, I think that's a wrap. So Anything else people want to bring up? Our next, our, our, our next meeting. Yeah, um, our next meeting is the second Wednesday in June, which is, I'll pull it up right now for the minutes. Um, okay. It's gonna be uh, the 8th, June 8th, eighth okay. 6 p.m. at the Regatta. Okay. And we'll all be in summer mode by then. Yeah. Be nice. If it gets Even, warm. <laughs> I know, ever, right? I know, it's, it's cold weather is ridiculous. What is June? What's the date? June? June 8th. June 8th. 6 p.m. at the Regatta. We'll do it in person. Okay. That'll be good. That'll be fun to see everybody. It's been a while. All right. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Bye. Have a nice day. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye.